is going on guys showing you the ass nass serpentarium it's sunday it's chilled vibes only if you're new around you make sure you subscribe drop us a like and today's topic as you saw in the title below is tips and tricks on how to never waste the rodent before we get into it though i'm just going to tell you at the end of this video not only that's where the most important tips and tricks are but I'm also going to include some feed-in feed videos just for entertainment value. So make sure you stay to the end into it. Right, what I do then, never waste a rodent. This will work for you, works for me. I very, very rarely, rarely waste any rodents in my collection, even though quite often snakes don't eat. So what I do is I feed on two or three days a week. And I feed snakes that need similar sized meals on separate days. So if I've got three snakes and they all need a rat pup or something similar, then I will feed on Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. I will defrost one rat pup. Okay. If that first snake then doesn't take, I'll offer it to the next one. That doesn't take, I'll offer it to the last one. And then that obviously is taken. So then next time I defrost in rodents, I'm not defrosting any rat pups because I know those guys aren't gonna eat. And I've already offered this week. I don't wanna over offer because it'll stress them out. So that's, uh, that's one thing that I do. Another thing that I do, that I think is very, very important is I don't, over offer snakes that are not eating. Now I've got a snake up there that's not eating. She hasn't eaten much since December. She had one or two rodents in January, February time, but that's it. She's a multi feeder. She's hit the thousand gram wall, I believe. Um. So what I do with her is I don't over offer her food. Um. I only offer her every other week maximum and I'll offer it to her before I offer the multi to the snake that I know will eat the multi. So I would say it's Wednesday and I'm defrosting, defrosting uh, rodents. I know that the pie who, who likes to eat multis is ready for a meal. I'll defrost a, a, a multi. I'll offer it to the girl there isn't eating first and if she doesn't take it which she probably won't then the pie gets it so then I'm not wasting any rodents I'm just gonna have a little sip of this drink it's Sunday today guys so chill vibes only at the end of the day yeah yeah so that's, uh, that's one thing I do another thing I do is I try to, I can sort of predict now when my snakes are going to go off feed based on their behaviour. I find with royals especially, my adult females, they sort of, they ramp up, they ramp up and up and up with their feed and they get more ferocious and then they stop. And they just stop. Um, and then they start to sort of, they go off for a few weeks and then they start to sizzle back. It dribs and drabs, they, they're, they're looking for food a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And then all of a sudden they're ramping up again, yeah? And they're always looking for food then when they're starting to ramp up. And then they'll go off. And I've noticed that's happening now with one of my fires. The fire 66% hep hide. And so what I actually do to get them back on food is I offer them a mouse rather than a rat. And I'll do that for two weeks and then I'll offer them a rat and if they don't take a rat I've already got a mouse on defrost so then what I'll do is I'll offer them the mouse then when they take the mouse I then offer them the rat and nine out of ten times when I offer them that rat then they'll take the rat and next week when I put a rat in it they'll take it straight away 
So that's how I uh, manage to not waste any rodents when I'm uh, feeding my snakes. May this farm drop us a like. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Destroy the notifications bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys. Yes. That's what we like to see boys. Check off on two then. Yeah, I know. Hey, hey, where you going? Where you going? Yes, that's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Happy with that. Get our lasso packing on the weight again. Happy days. Just gone straight in to eat them. Uh, obviously, she had uh, she had some eggs earlier. She made a bit of a mess. I didn't want to clean out the enclosure today, just because she's been under enough stress with all the eggs and stuff. So I I just left it for today. I'll uh, leave her get her meal in, and I'll worry about it in in two days. It's only a little bit of a mess anyway, so um, I'm not too worried about that. She, I can't believe she's just gone straight into eating it. Wasted no time there, is she? <laughs> no time at all. Yeah, she's just finishing up that uh, that mouse. I'm gonna offer another one once she swallows that. I don't normally do that, but since she's had a clutch of eggs, she's lost a lot of mass. So I'm gonna double feed her today. Yep, she's looking for another meal already. Not even done swallowing that one yet. Come on, sweetheart. What's this? What is it? She's looking for it. She can't seem to find it. What's this? Nope, she's full. That's fair enough. There we go. Good girl. Yeah, as I've said before, this girl tends to only eat mice. So I'm just going to give her two mice and try her on a chick as well today. Just to keep that weight going up. And um, I'll offer her a rat then next Sunday. So um, hopefully that will work out, but uh, I'll just pause it here now, let her swap.
Good girl. Come on. Yeah, she's gone it. She's gone it. Well done. There we go. Good girl. She's got it. She's a very keen feeder.